All right, we are loaded to the gills because we're going camping. We'll do the, uh, just a 15 mile jaunt up the road here to uh, the national park. Looks like there's a lot of uh, camping opportunities, so I don't think we can go wrong. Good morning. Just had a nice uh, siesta. So here I am waking up on a picnic table, right? I made it into the campground and I'm probably right about here. I ended up going on my phone and then kind of seeing this spot down here. I clicked it and it's like primitive campsite. And then I read this in-depth review from Mr. Fletcher here and I thought, hey, wouldn't this be a fun little treasure hunt? So instead of kind of going back to the highway, I ended up like taking a couple of service roads and uh, trails to get there. Somebody's already in the spot. Yep, too bad. I ended up just biking all the way down the service road and back to the highway, then back into the campground all over again. So, I don't know, it's just some exercise, I guess. I need a hammer or something. <laughs> uh, holy crow. How about this? Oh, there, okay. Here we have it. Since it's Sunday night, drum roll please, Chili Mac. I know. I hear the groans. <laughs> Maybe I'll cook, eh. Anyway, there's a couple other Easter treats we'll, uh, we'll dig into after, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna wolf down this chunky here. For dessert, since it's Easter, long weekend, apple pie. Ooh, this looks tasty. A sugary glaze on it. Mmm. Really thick.
Uh, okay, so it says 2023-11. I don't know if that was when it was made or when it expires. Either way, I've lost my appetite for it. <laughs> okay, well, it's not the end of the world because we still have one more treat. And I was thinking uh, I wanted to have them over a fire. But it might be kind of nice to sit and uh, overlook the lake. Okay, my first time trying Fritos. Oh, I've probably had these before. Mmm. Salty. Well, good morning from the Evergreen Church, just off Highway 2025. We're just hanging out in the courtyard here. I'm gonna cook up some breakfast and have some coffee and then get on the road to Navasota. Looks like it's about a 60 mile ride. And uh, yeah, no messing around. So these clusters are a new addition. I'm also going with two packets of oatmeal. Cause it's always like 10.30, 11 a.m. and I'm just ravenous. So see if I can make it to 12 noon without going crazy. Certainly looks like we're in hill country now. Also got that Texas wind. Ride so far has been pretty good today. Definitely scenic. Uh, not an awesome shoulder, so I've been kind of rushing to make progress, but hey, the sights are nice. Hello, sir. What you doing? Heading to California. <laughs> Back on your journey. Appreciate it, brother. Up, Later, man. What a day. That was my first dose of big hills and strong headwinds, but uh, you know, we still made it. <laughs> Just hanging out here now at the fire department. Nice enough to let me stay. Uh, I got the tent set up and uh, I'm gonna go get cleaned up now and do some laundry, so. Now that was a great stay in Navasota. I felt very safe being at the fire station and uh, it's actually a pretty good sleep. What we're going to do now is find a place to set up for breakfast and then get on the road to uh, Leadbetter, it's about 50 miles away. I'm going to stay in a little wood cabin and that's all I know about it.
We made it. Isn't this cool? It's a big pond right here. Sun's about to set. So uh, we'll get in there, cook up some soup, and then uh, we're just chilling. Now, if you know me, I'm all about that kind of thing. So let's uh, have a look. Oh, carpet. Oh yeah, we're sleeping up here. So there's a puzzle here on the countertop and I thought, uh, wouldn't it be cool if we figure out one piece and then we can eat dinner. I don't want to dump out all these pieces. Like that's kind of what you have to do though. Why do we got lots of, okay, someone's got something going here. Dark, oh jeez. Two-sided, that's tough. I bet we can get some wood into the cup transition. So we're just gonna collect anything that's kind of half turquoise. Okay, so that's actually, this one's looking promising here. We got little edges here. Mm -hmm. All right, here's our piece. Dinner time. On the menu tonight is uh, pub style chicken pot pie and probably four or five tortillas with peanut butter. And after that, we'll probably uh, hit the hay and then uh, back at it tomorrow. Good morning from the backwoods. Had a lovely night in the cabin and uh, an even more lovely morning. Still trying to decide what I want to do today. If we want to go like, f I think it'd even be less than 40 miles to a little place called Bastrop, Bastrop. There's a state park there. It looks like a little camping situation. Or we go all the way to Austin, which is like 69 miles. So uh, that's not big at all. But I was kind of thinking like, oh, well, I've two small days we'll go to Bastrop and then we'll go to Austin but it might be nice to get right to Austin because there's a bunch of gadgets and gizmos I got to pick up and errands I got to run I'd really like to figure out the uh, handlebar situation I think that's the missing piece in my setup I can only bring the handlebar so high and I think if I could bring them higher I'd be uh, able to be a bit more relaxed in the saddle but uh, anyway, that's my problem and not yours. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll just enjoy the morning here, have some coffee and then uh, get back on the road. Okay, so we got 67 miles if we're gonna go right into Austin. I think we're gonna go for it. Every time I pass a field of cows, I smile and wave, but I don't know if I had something in my teeth this time, but I caused some sort of cow avalanche. Texas. It's just been absolutely gorgeous rolling into town during golden hour. People out running and dogs and people playing golf. It's just been so relaxing and I'm uh, looking forward to dropping this thing off and doing a bit of walking around myself. Got some uh, sights to see and errands to run so uh, first on the hit list tonight will be dinner. Let's get to it. <laughs> 